In this video, I want to introduce the concept of panel data by comparing it with pooled cross-sectional data, which we, we've already introduced. So the idea with pooled cross-sectional data is that we have for two or more periods, we have a population of individuals at time one. And then what we do at that particular point in time is we have a random sample of individuals from that particular population. And then at some point in the future or many points in the future, we then have the same population of individuals, but this is at some future point in time. And we actually take another random sample of individuals. And importantly, it's not the case that these individuals which are sampled here are equivalent to those individuals which are sampled here. So the idea with pooled cross-sectional models is that we lump both of these two samples of data together because there's no reason to suggest that they are, aren't independent of one another. And then we just estimate OLS as we always have done. Okay, so that's pooled OLS which is the thing we've already introduced. Panel, by contrast, it's also to do with two sets of observations or two or more sets of observations across time. But the difference here is that essentially what we do is we have, let's say if we were doing, dealing with individual people, we have that individual person's variables at a time period equal to one, and then for that same individual, we have that person's set of characteristics at that future point in time. And the idea with panel models is that we have this data, not just for one individual, but we have it for many individuals. We have their individual characteristics at all these different points in time. So the idea with panel model is that it's different to a pooled cross-sectional model because in a pooled cross-sectional model, we're just taking a random sample of individuals, and those random sample of individuals aren't necessarily the same. Whereas in panel model, we're, or in panel models rather, we're assuming that these individuals are the same individuals. And because of that, our individuals or our observations are not independent. In contrast to that of the pooled model, where the observations in each of these random samples can be treated as being independent. Okay, so it seems like we've got an added layer of complexity in panel models. And we do, and, and because of this added layer of complexity, we actually need a whole new set of tools for estimating models on panel data. We can't just apply OLS to all of these individuals' observations pulled together like we did in the pooled cross-sectional model. So what are the benefits of panel data over pooled cross-sectional data? An example here might be that let's say we took a sample of individuals at time period one, and we found that 50% of those individuals were unemployed. And then we took another sample of individuals from that same population at some other point in time in the future. And we found that 50% of those individuals were unemployed. But the difference between pooled and panel models is that in our pooled model, we can't tell whether it's the same 50% of individuals who are unemployed in both cases. Whereas in panel models, what we can see is we can see whether this individual, this first individual here, if they were unemployed in time period one, was it also the case that they were unemployed in time period two? And this individual heterogeneity provides us with that much more sort of richer data in order to answer questions. And it's that particular benefit that leads us to discuss panel models in much greater depth. 